Numi here and today we're going to be doing another video on Monster Tamer games. Now the topic that we're going to be talking about today I feel as though is just as important as catching mons in these games. It's keeping them. Now what I mean by that is could you keep your favorite mons in these games for the duration of the game? Now, if your favorite Mon is like Beelzebub Mon, of course you can get through the whole Digimon games with that or anything else, but I am talking about maybe like a Pichu, you know, in Pokemon. Could you go through the game with your favorite Mon, which is Pichu? Is it possible? Yes or no? And that's what we'll be talking about today. So let's get into the video. For Digimon, ultimately, for the majority of the games, I would say no. Just no. Just get the strong Digimon, you know. There's lots of Digimon out there. I'm sure there's an ultimate out there that you really, really love. A mega out there that you really, really love choose one of those <laughs> um but not for all because i definitely know and if you've also played through hacker's memory and cyber sleuth you know that there is a way to make digimon of each stage very very powerful now you will be grinding for a very long time um i remember having a black gotomon in one of the games and I remember like digivolving it all the way up and then de digivolving it back down. The only issue is that um, Digimon at lower stages will have less slots for moves, so that's a thing. But you are able to um, make them more powerful enough to be used throughout the game, which I feel like is super awesome. But uh, other than that, like, I, I don't, I'm not really sure about the other ones. Um, no, I'm not really sure about the other ones, but like, I know that there's a lot of Digimon games out there. And of course, like I said in the previous video, um, not every single one of them are RPGs. Like, a lot of them are just like, you, know, you really don't have to care about levels. You can just kind of use anything. Um, I'm, mo I'm mainly thinking about four. <laughs> when I say that um but for the ones like for the ones that have a lot of Digimon in that are RPGs um I don't, I don't think so I really don't think so but hey I don't know everything again I have not played everything and there's no way I'm going to be playing everything because like I'm only one new me I can't play everything <laughs> so let me know if you if I haven't set a game and you know about a game where you can keep your favorite Digimon throughout the duration of the whole game, uh, yeah, on to the next. Now on to Dragon Quest. Now, just like Digimon, for the majority of the games, well, now that I think about it, Hmm. For the GBA games, I would say no. Don't do it. Just get the higher, you know, ranked uh, monsters in Dragon Quest. Um, in the DS games, you can, but that's a lot of lot of grinding. I would dare say even more grinding than the Digimon games. Like it's so much. I remember playing. Uh, I remember playing through Joker 2 and wow, the amount of grinding I, I did to actually keep the Angel Slime and the uh, Dark Slime, I believe that's his name, in the party, um, like for the, you know, entire, excuse me, in the entirety of the game. Um, wow. Yeah, I even used the cheat code, I think to uh to do that and 
even then that was still a bit of grinding it, it wasn't like super long because obviously i could speed things up because i was not playing it you know <clears throat> but uh yeah it's possible i guess if you have a lot of time on your hand um uh uh for for the other games so just joker 3 because i still haven't played the other 3ds games um yeah it's possible probably a little bit less grinding than the than the uh ds games simply because i believe maybe it was in joker 2 but i be I, I definitely know in joker 3 when you fuse monsters they actually give you an option to fuse back into the same monster uh previous ones did not have that you would have to fuse into whatever resulting monster there is uh but yeah in three you can go into right back into the same monster which is pretty cool okay that car outside is very angry i guess or whatever <laughs> Um, and when it comes to, uh, uh, Dragon Quest The Dark Prince, Dragon Quest Monsters The Dark Prince, um, you can also, I believe you can also fuse into the same, um, monster, but also it's, it's a lot easier to keep the same mon as well because there's, it's a lot easier to grind in that game. Um, yeah, there's just like, a. I forget what the item is, but it's like a little green orb thing that you can use. And each battle, you'll get like uh, extra experience. You can get like a small one, a large one, and stuff like that. Uh, so like it makes it so much more easier to grind. So you can keep your monsters in the party for longer. Also, um... Oh, also with the fusing thing, I think there's like a special way to fuse monsters if you get like a special fusion which is like the gold one i believe their stats will probably be better but don't quote me on that but uh yeah it is a lot easier to keep your favorites in uh joker not, not joker 3 excuse me in uh the dark prince because i even kept like the unicorn in the party for a very long time and even bring it to the final boss because it still had like really great uh, skills and speaking of skills I'm glad I brought that up you can actually give your monsters different skills and obviously there's the seeds that you can give them as well to increase their stats and stuff like that but uh yeah yeah with the with the uh, addition of the little orbs that give you extra experience and plus this is another thing oh my god i'm remembering so much you could actually save in front of metal slimes like i you know barring that they don't uh uh spot you but you can save and try to encounter them and if they run away you can actually reload the save and they will still be there from before so you can kind of like you know fiddle with that in some way to try to defeat them uh so yeah there's a lot of ways to keep your monster because obviously the higher level you know and, and plus if their skills are useful they'll be uh better but yeah it's actually uh pretty well please pick up the dark prince it's a really great game trust me now it's time for your favorite game in the whole entire whole wide wide world pokemon <laughs> now when it comes to pokemon you kinda could keep your favorites you know the ones that are not the super strong ones um would i suggest doing it no like if you're like really serious about bringing that Tyrogue to fight Lance, like I guess if you have a lot of healing items and a lot of X items, I don't even remember if X items exist in Generation 2, but whatever. I guess I wouldn't try that though. Um, you know, and, and again, also if you level up to like level 100, of course this is for any of those any of these games if you you know over level of course you can 
most likely use them. Um, of course, leveling up in Pokemon is going to be a lot more easier than the two previous games that we talked about. Uh, but again, healing items, X items, it can be possible. Is it the best experience? No, I would not suggest it. But honestly, you know, if you're really, really, really serious about it, go right ahead. Um, but there are some games where you don't have to do that. I know, uh, you know, after playing Legends Arceus, I had my starter uh, Duat. And I did not evolve Duat through the entire game. And it did not feel like a liability on the team whatsoever. Like, even in important trainer battles, I was still doing damage with Duat. Um, I mean, I tried it before in, I think, Black 2. Uh, keeping a Duat on my team throughout the whole game. And it, it worked. It wasn't, like, terrible or anything like that. But there were a lot of instances uh, towards the end of the game, of course, where I was like, man, you're not really dishing out enough damage or like you're dying pretty quickly. And then I had to like choose between like, do I want to use the Eviolite or do I want to use a choice item, life orb, you know what I mean? <clears throat> lot to that, but it is possible. And I believe in Legends Arce, not Legends Arce, excuse me, in Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. That is possible because I believe they go back to like the DVs that uh, Generation 1 and 2 had where you can put like points into every single stat. So it's possible in that game. So I guess let's go Pikachu and Eevee does have something cool to it. Um, and yeah, yeah, it's, it's a lot more likely than the previous two. I will definitely say that. So, uh, yeah. Now we have Shin Megami Tensei. The whole reason why I'm making this video, because this was the idea. It was, I was first playing through Shin Megami Tensei 5 Vengeance, and I was like, oh, I need to talk about this. And this is the reason why this video exists today. So, when it comes to Shin Megami Tensei, uh, could you keep your favorites that aren't obviously the strongest of the strong? I guess. <laughs> um, for, for the games that I have played, I've noticed that the demons that you have in your party, uh, you know, longer, they start to get less experience and they start to level up a lot slower. Um so like that could be a liability now you're running around with like a level 27 demon and the rest of your party is like in the late not late excuse me in the uh early 40s and it's just like well when am i ever going to use this demon but in shimmyami tensei 5 they have introduced grimoires now I didn't remember this until a couple weeks back. I went back to five to just like see some differences between five and vengeance. Um, you can only use grimoires once and then I guess they have to get like another level up or they have to get like into a battle and to you uh, use another one. I don't know. Kind of weird. And also um incense now incense has already been in smt games but they work differently in this game uh incense instances oh my god <laughs> incense you could increase the stats of either your demon or yourself so you know you'll have one for each stat strength agility all that other stuff um and I would always put it on the protagonist because I'm like, well, the demons will most likely get fused away and the stats will grow from the different demons and the different level ups that they get. I, on the other hand, am always going to be the regular protagonist. So I'm just going to use incense on myself, but they split that up in five. And now incense are only for demons and the bombs go to the protagonist. So that's pretty cool. Um, 
And when it comes to grimoires, we don't have to worry about who to give it to as well because the grimoires go specifically to the demons while the gospels go to the protagonists. So cool. Um, but in Shin Megami Tensei 5 Vengeance, they really did their big one. They really did their big one when it comes to keeping demons. So now you can give the demons as many grimoires as you can until they reach the level of the protagonist. If you don't know, demons cannot be higher than the protagonist's level unless you fuse them and they gained more experience and became higher level or um you like completed a quest and you got gifted a demon that just happened to be higher level than you um yeah so you can just give them as many as you want so for example if you do have a demon that's level 27 and the rest of your party is in the late 40s oh my I, i'm just gonna say late 40s <laughs> Uh, you can just give them uh, uh, 20 grimoires, boom, here's here's all the level ups right here. Yep, you sure can. You can even do a thing where like maybe you fused the demon away because you needed to get a new one and you gained more space uh, further on in the game and now you're like, ah, I want them back. You can just give them a ton of grimoires. And it's not even hard to find grimoires because playing through five and i didn't have the dlc to get myself more uh my tama the ones who like drop the grimoires um just playing through the game regularly they drop a ton you can get so many of them you can rack up so many grimoires it's insane and the cool thing about smt is that when your demons level up they don't have just like base stats or anything like like how pokemon is like a pichu can only be but so strong you can make these demons incredibly powerful even ones that were like the first demons that you get like pixie and slime and stuff like that you can make them incredibly powerful and on top of that leveling them up not only gives you like items and stuff like that they also give you uh uh different skills so like some random skills that you can learn just by leveling up it's incredible on top of that you can give demons other uh skills through essences from other demons and giving them like immunities resistances and other actual attacks as well on top of that so you can like you could really make a monster or a demon excuse me uh really busted i'm not done and on top of that you can increase the proficiency of a demon's uh uh element or affinity so like you know dark fire all of those and physical and almighty you can increase that with items as well so you could just really make a demon just full on super powerful god tier and it'll be just like regular pixie and i think that's incredibly cool and i feel like other monster tamer games can really 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 study smt5 vengeance to help people keep their favorites because i feel like a lot of people want to keep their favorites they just can't because it, it would just be super outclassed um oh and i'm not even done yet haha <laughs> because smt5 vengeance introduced something else now a lot of those things that i talked about were introduced in just base smt5 but this one specifically was introduced in vengeance and it's called demon haunts that this is like a uh i guess kind of child garden equivalent basically you just go to a different place where all of your demons are stored not all of them you only see a couple of them 
um, and you can talk with them, have different dialogue with them, take pictures of them and stuff like that. But also they can have conversations with you when they have a little exclamation point of, uh, around them. Uh, and it also shows like in the menu when you're looking at your demons, there'll be like a little exclamation point uh, near them as well. And without leveling up, by the way, I, I guess leveling up could help increase that because it'll increase the, uh, I guess, the friendship meter or something like that. Um, you can get extra stats on a demon. This is the longest, the longer that you keep the demon in your party and the more that they like you, you can get stats, you can get items, you can get skills as well, just like how you would if you leveled up. And it's, it's, it's crazy. It's really, really crazy. Now you can increase that meter through giving them boxes. Um, there's like a small one and there's like a, a larger one or a more like lavish one or something like that. To increase that so if you really 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 want to and it's really not that hard you could keep that demon that you love so dearly in the party and it still be useful for a very long time for the entirety of the game and I think that's so incredible I can't think of anything else that they have because i know it's so much inventions that they introduced so if you if i forgot something and you know just put it down in the comment section below thank you all so much for watching and i'll see you next time numi out